Everyone, how's it going? Is that the camera's a bit? Is that in the right place? I feel if, if I'm talking directly into the microphone, the camera's in the wrong place. But maybe, realistically, I'm going to be stood here. So maybe that's fine. Um, yeah, sorry, sorry for the slightly late start. It's actually ghost of uh, Tsushima's fault. Um, because I've nearly finished it. Nearly finished it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm all right. Cheers, Ben. Um, I'm just looking through this uh, sale on the PlayStation because I don't know if you're aware. Everyone who's, I think, everyone who's got PlayStation Plus, they've given. Um, where are we? There we go. Um, they've given everyone a tenner of credit, and. I can't find anything that I want. I think I might um, be an asshole who doesn't like anything anymore. I think I'm, <laughs> I think I'm going uh, full, James, full James Farley. Why do I own Firewall Zero Hour? Was that a PS Plus thing? Because I didn't buy that. I didn't pay money for that. No chance. Um... Is that, wait, seriously, is judgment a tenner? Oh my god, it is. Right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy that on stream, obviously, because um, it'll probably reveal details that I don't want to. Uh, yeah, no, hundred percent, that's happening. And then all I have to do is play Yakuza Zero and One. <laughs> Sorry, Kiwami even. Um, well, there you go. I could get the Farming Simulator 19 season pass for sixteen pound seventy nine. Um, yeah, no, I almost, I'm almost definitely going to get Judgment. Grounded is on Game Pass. I almost, um, I nearly streamed that tonight. Um, I mean, maybe I, 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 maybe I will yet. Who knows? Have I, I don't think I've downloaded it on the Xbox. Maybe next week. Um, yeah, I just, I'm just like skimming through. Do you know, The Council, that was a good game. Well, the, the, did I play two or three episodes of it? Um, I should really have cracked on with that because I really enjoyed it. Excuse me. Um, sorry, you don't need to... Oh, there you go. We can get Anthem for two quid. Sounds all right, doesn't it? Um, yeah, no, Ben, I know. Yeah, no, it's it's pretty much completely separate, isn't it? I know. Is it still set in Kamurocho? Um, But other than that, it's basically... Not the same. As if Tilt Brush by Google is on PSVR and it's 12 quid. That is bizarre. Anyway, sorry, this isn't what you came here for. You came here for a low-octane arty stream, didn't you? That's right. <laughs> um, hang on, let me just move. This microphone arm is so strange sometimes. So you can see where the joins are, and you sort of go right, mate. All you need, all I need you to do is move this way, and it goes nope. Well, if you're connected to PSN, your game will always save to the cloud. So, um, that's right. I am the blue sick guy. So this is Ho Hokum. This is not a new game by any means. This is four years old, five years old now. Um, and. Uh, I absolutely loved it at the time and um, obviously there's been some excitement because uh, Richard Hogg's uh, new game I Am Dead um, there's been some buzz around that there was a new trailer and stuff and sorry my glasses need um, wiping where's me where's my uh, <laughs> Playstation cloth yeah because I'm a gamer all right this is how I wipe my fingerprints off my glasses um oh Ben yeah yeah Matt Lee's worked on the trailer for I am dead didn't he um <clears throat> well, I think that's actually made them slightly worse but whatever anyway I absolutely love this game and because I'm excited about I Am Dead, uh, I thought it'd be quite fun to revisit it because the other week when I did Nog, 
and it was basically just like an excellent interactive music video. Um, the similar vibe with this one, um, and so I thought, just thought it'd be nice. Just do a do a bit of this. I've already finished the game, but I'm just, obviously I'm going to start a new one. Um, oh, this might there might be no um, vod of this because uh, most of the soundtrack is licensed, um, and I mean it's all remixed because it's like a lot of it's sort of interactive with the game. Um, but there's every chance this will just get picked up several times over by either Twitches or YouTube's. Um, song detection robots um, so I might get absolutely assassinated for this yes Naila Ben yeah I got well into Tycho after this um, after playing this right let's uh, let's check the settings yeah fine whatever um, yeah this is one of the, the first games as well that I had a really nice time playing between the PS4 and the Vita this and Fez and in a, in a lot of ways, it was like, it was really obvious how good the Switch was going to be because um, like I had such a good time being able to play these portably, but then also on the big telly um, that, yeah, so like, of course the Switch was is, like, is as good as it is um, because this idea was already working just across two devices. Um, charging your Vita, man. My, my Vita never needs charging. It's absolutely terrifying how little charging that device needs. You're like, oh, I've touched it in six months. Um, it's probably going to be like completely flat. Oh, no, it's got a full charge still. I don't know what that thing runs off. It's not electricity, that's for sure. Fucking magic. Right. Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Existing save data and cloud save data will be over in. Yes. I mean, turn this up quite loud if you want. I'll keep the I'll keep the talking sedate. Just have a nice time listening to it.
sorry, I'm not ignoring the chat. I just absolutely love this whole bit. <laughs> one of the been here right you go for a sleep on a giant sphere and then all your mates bugger off out of interdimensional portals and then that's you on your own and you gotta travel around and find them right sorry yeah I just I really love that intro bit um, what am I drinking I'm on the uh, I'm on the karma cola again I, um, I probably don't need the sugar, but I need the caffeine of a Pepsi Max even less. And yes, water exists, but it's boring. Um, so, <laughs> I wanted to treat myself. Right, here it goes. Level one. Um, <clears throat> how long did the donut holes last? Yeah, uh, yeah they were gone by mid-evening. Um, <laughs> Hey, Shy, you're right. Yeah, so this is a game where you, you're a line and you fly around and you touch things and the stuff happens. 
and it just looks and sounds amazing and like, there are there are like, actual puzzles to it not usually particularly complex but it's just like an excellent little experience I say little it takes like four or five hours to finish Oh no, I can swear on this one. No swearing is just for um, daytime ones where it's something that a child might maybe want to watch. Have you not got the credit, Doomikin? I, so I literally just got a notification. Um, apparently it's like a staggered rollout. Not everyone's getting it immediately. Caramba, see what you did there, Phil. It's good stuff. Oh, yeah. Was this a PlayStation exclusive? Or was it on? It's definitely. I don't think it's on Xbox. I don't know if it was on PC. These bits are just like fun little toys essentially, but then others, like there is actually some, there's like a puzzle or some progression to them. portal down here in the bottom left and then there's one over on the right. song is a banger.
Games where you just stick your headphones in and get absorbed. God, I don't know. Do you know? I've probably Fez is another one. Um, but it's been a while. But um, yeah, not as many games as you would think are actually good at that. Like a lot of... Yeah, Tetris Effect is a good shout. Um... But yeah, I don't know. I, I find a lot of games that try to just be ambient. Often just a little bit boring. I mean... Right, what's the tr trick here? Can't remember. No, there isn't. Proteus is a good one. I never finished that. Like, properly. Isn't there... I, I did, like, one run through it. I seem to remember finding out that there's more to it, or there's, like, all, like a lot of stuff to discover in it. I remember right, Phil. Is this not where we were a minute ago? Ah! Um, yeah, for, it's, it's weird because you have to sort of just play around with it and discern, like, what's a puzzle and what's just like a fun musical visual toy. Um, I'm trying to remember if any of them were as annoying as like <laughs> just colour in every every dot or whatever. I mean there's one way to find out right? There's a way to like make it color in more dots or something, but I guess not. I think I made that up. But it doesn't matter because we don't actually have to make any progress in this stream. We can just play around with it. <laughs> I do. I, I. I don't remember finding it annoying back in the day, right? And I. I, I do recall being able to sort of tap into it and sort of figure out the game's logic. <clears throat> I 
I've, I've gone the wrong way. I thought this was back. I thought this was back where I came from. See the number? Oh, I see. <laughs> see, they're all like fading. So you're definitely not meant to like colour the whole thing in. Almost certainly inspired by those films. Unless it's just a very mad coincidence. Right, this is, uh, we're getting nowhere here, are we? I've nearly done it all, though. I feel like I should stick with it. Yeah, the colour's fading. There we go. I knew it. See if anything's changed. It might have been arbitrary, Phil, but it might have been a crucial puzzle piece. Right, this is the one we actually came from. Right? Oh, but now I'm intrigued to see if I'm, I'm supposed to do something with the others. Forever to eat the whole thing. Maybe just do like a percentage of it. That counts.
actually quite nice when you pick them up slowly. <laughs> It's a shame that it takes a million years. Forever. I'm tapping out. Let's go somewhere else. <clears throat> nope, not this way. This way. No, it wasn't. Please be the way out. Please. Oh no. That doesn't bode well at all. It's just another one. <laughs> Fuck. Are we trapped? We might be trapped. Oh bloody hell. They're fading out again. So what's the... Do we just have to pop all the big ones? Please tell me that's the case. Yes. Yeah, it really bloody is. Absolutely love it. So what's so the two that we've we've done, there was like a trick, right? It wasn't just a case of just filling everything in painstakingly. There was like a shortcut. I mean that still doesn't help us get out of it. So, mate, I just keep doing the same thing. Right. <clears throat> ah! Why am I colouring in loads now? Oh, that's the way back out.
heard it. I can't remember which ones of these I've done or not. Let's let's go. It wasn't that one, was it? It was top right. Oh, that's different. Yeah, this is one of the few games I've uh, completely hundred percented. Got all the eyes and everything. But it's been long enough. I don't remember any of it. It was very Twin Peaks, wasn't it? trick here. fast. A bit like Chime that bit, wasn't it? <clears throat> Big fan of Chime, I was tweeting about that the other day. Oh, you made the donut holes, amazing! Yeah, I mean, they're not good for you. At all. <laughs> right, what am I meant to be doing here? Flashing up a big X. Why? Do 
need to just keep going until there's nothing left. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. I feel like I've just con successfully contained a virus. What are those alligators doing in the top left? Remember any of this, which is incredibly weird. So that's how you, you find your mates. You'll just occasionally find them hidden in the levels, basically. <coughs> Why is that not? Yeah, we're good. Let's go. Have I ever made ice cream bread? Is you have you just made that up? That can't be a thing, can it? Ice cream bread. I mean, I realise that by <laughs> by not believing you, I'm just sounding like a shit Peter K. Ice cream bread. Bread with ice cream on it. <laughs> you, mix, you mix vanilla ice cream and self-raising flour. And then what? And then what? I can't be the end of the sentence. Then you put it in the oven. You just mix ice cream and self-raising flour and then you bake it. I don't... I, are, you t are you taking the piss? Is this, <laughs> is this an elaborate wind-up? Oh, let's see if we can get him to make something that's absolutely nonsense on the stream. <laughs> um... Don't, don't get me wrong, I want it to be true. Absolutely want it to be true. I want to believe. <clears throat> Do 
So I am. Oh, here we go. Bit of com trues. I think. remember what the logic to this one is. I think it's like everyone can be picked up from one place and dropped off in another. I can't remember if there's any way of telling like who wants to go where. Uh oh. Oh no! Well, we all seem to be having a good time. That's the main thing. right and then it changes to like creepy apocalypse I didn't kill them. They probably died of natural causes due to the massive apocalypse. I'm just going to keep picking up these clouds and hope that something positive happens. Ah, damn it. You have to get them all in a certain time. I think you do. Oh, do you like drop them there? Yeah, look, this guy's alive and he's got a shopping cart. So he probably knows what the deal is with the apocalypse. <laughs> the cloud getting bigger. out before I dropped it off. Hang on. Yeah, here we go. Come on, mate. Wake up.
go. <clears throat> oh, mate, bisque off. Bloody love a bit of bisque off. Right, what's your game, mate? Oh, do we take him back to the past where it's happy? I think maybe we do. Even though he'll forever be burdened with knowledge of the inevitable future. Yes, man. Let's party. <laughs> Go, mate, it's where your shopping trolley was. <laughs> Just trying to remember what the point of any of this is. Close them off. That's true, Naylor Ben. If my uh, good friend Joe Rogan is to be believed, <laughs> this is a waste of everyone's time, isn't it? Filling up, it's filling up. Come on, mate. How much water do you need? <clears throat> yes. What am I supposed to do in this one? I can't remember. Probably turn out the answer is absolutely nothing. But there must have been some reason to bring him from the past, right? So hang on a minute, can I take all these plebs into the horrible future? And see how they handle that. I sort of hope not for their sakes, and yeah, I'm going to try it. Right, no. Ah, it's changed though. Ah! Ah! <laughs> No way! <laughs> Fucking love this game. Hello, Oberon. He did get busy, Phil. Done all all sorts of breeding. <laughs> what was this? It's weird. It's like one platform floating in the air. I, I'm still not convinced by this ice cream bread stuff. I'm going to Google it in a minute. 
because it sounds insane. Although I did hear, I mean, it's a different thing, but um, I did hear once that, like, if you've got a slow cooker, if you've got any, like, gone-off stale bread, um, you can just put it in a slow cooker with, I can't remember, it's just, like, milk and sugar and cinnamon. And it comes out, like, brioche. That might be nonsense. <clears throat> right. Do I just leave the way I came? I assume I do. Bye. <clears throat> oh, what soup did you make, man? I need to get better at making soup. I say get better at it. I mean, in terms of discipline. I just never, I don't know. It's just something it never occurs to me to make, even though it's the easiest thing in the world and you can just use gone off or leftover stuff for it. Virgin Red Lentil, it's a classic. This is a classic. There is a bottom, thank god. Oh, does it go on forever sideways? Oh, that's doing my eyes in a bit, that. Ugh. <laughs> Sneak up slowly on the squirrels with your eye closed. Oh, with the... like that. Where's the squirrel, though? I've already missed it. Trees. Oh, I can hear it. Ah.
Then what? <laughs> Boo! We'll leave it for now. Oi, mate. <laughs> okay, maybe. Oh, to be fair, I think I've got trophy notifications turned off. Jeff Coat. <laughs> what a name. Is that a real name? That can't be a real name. to the hub. <clears throat> Imagine being like, I, my name's Jeff Coat. What, Jeff Coat? As in Mr. Coat? No. Jeff, Mr. Jeff Coat. Coat. <laughs> what, your middle name's Coat and your last name's Coat? No, no, no. Jeff Coat, Coat. I was it like a double barrel? Can you have a double barrel forename? Yeah, because you can be like Sarah Jane or whatever. You can be Jeff Coat, Jeff Coat, Coat and Sons. Love this. All it is is the game like randomly deciding whether you've threaded through one of the holes. I mean, not randomly, but you know what I mean. And yet, it's just such a cool effect that even though you're only controlling it on one plane, there's that sensation of just like th threading it through and around. And such a good computer game. Well worth a tenner, this. It was, it? yeah, it was on PS Plus, wasn't it? Yeah, it might be one of those secret, it turns out you've already got it ones. I seem to remember this being enjoyable, this, this bit. I'll probably do this one and then call it a night, because I am very tired. Last week was incredibly hectic. The uh, TCGS-wise. Um... Thank you. 
Ah, shit, that kills it, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, so I feel like I'm a little bit allowed a relatively short one. And we've got the bonus show to do tomorrow. So, <laughs> still, not, uh, still not out of the woods yet. Still not out of the content mines. Yeah, judgment for a tenor is definitely happening. I mean, it's not even for a tenor, it's for free, because I've got a free tenor. Here we go. Yes, mate. Me and my son ever again. Oh, I missed. I wonder if I now turn them all off. Sorry, Ben, I think you'll find that there's a, a new samurai game uh, that's, that's taking the world by storm. Because <laughs> the two are definitely comparable. bit of synth that in it no you're absolutely right Ben they're completely different games just happen to feature man with sword plus like <laughs> at least Sekiro is like obviously just a complete fantasy whereas Ghost of Tsushima sort of acts like it's based in reality when it's equally nonsense <laughs> I have, uh, I mean, spoilers for next week's podcast because we didn't do what we've been playing this week. Um, I, I have come around quite a lot on Ghost of Tsushima, but like pretty much all of the complaints I had are still there. It's just done other things that kind of make it worthwhile. <clears throat> Pleasure to meet you. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, so for tomorrow's podcast, we because we had all the Microsoft stuff to go through, um, and another big chat about the Ubisoft stuff. Um, yeah, we we had to bin off what you've been playing, and the show was still three hours long. So, <laughs> hey, Cammy, all right, right. What happens if I kill the lights now? Probably nothing. But it's fun to experiment, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, so that just kills the music entirely. Well, no one wants that. Oh, they're still going. 
just no percussion. Nah, let's get all the lights back on. Any more eyes that I've missed? I can't even remember what the significance of lighting up all the eyes is. There we go, there's one. Um, whether it's a puzzle specific thing or is it like a global target? I can't remember. You gonna do a mega stream tomorrow? Make sure I'm calling. Do a sp bespoke what you've been playing. What's the What's the mega stream, Cami? What are you doing? What's so bloody mega about it? That's what I want to know. You got the office to yourself, nice one. All right, let's get out of here. Let's just see what's next. Play Pokemon, nice one. Oh, so it's, it's mega in terms of length. That's fine. Oh, this tracks a belter. And we're going to smash a load of pots, mate. Sad because we fucked up all his pots. That's right, he's gonna make a new one. Oh, what's the trick to this? I can't remember. Oh, another eye. Thank you. Do I have to like whiz through it? It's big. Ah. Damn it. What's the thing? I can't remember what the thing is. What's your game? Oh shit. Oh, he's giving me a, give me a little tickle. No idea what that's achieved. Uh, no, it's not Cami. It's just that as you fly through things or around them, it might trigger certain behaviours. Oh, no. You're right. Uh, shit. What does that symbol mean? That's a secret code for something. I can't remember what. But not for something here. It's for something else. What 
do we do? What do we do with the pottery guy? Nothing else I've missed, is there? Shapes at the bottom on another level. No, I've already smashed all the pots. That's the thing. And he's making the new one, but it keeps going bad. Like that. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Gets there and then it pops off. Leave and come back, maybe. Actually, there is actually a B level. I think this is the B level. Where it's like a big honey machine. I don't want to do this one. I want to do the pottery one. I, <laughs> I mean, you know, to the game's credit that you can just be like, oh, I'll do like a bit of this one and then I'll go back and then, you know, whatever. That's right, then they all pour it out into there. Let's go, team. Oops. All the rest of the honey globules should be blimming loads of them. No, not that. Ah, that's right. You free the bees and they start harvesting it. I remember now. Good one. Hey, mate, get out. Oh, you have to like increase the pressure here somehow if I remember correctly come on guys back to work let's go the farting noises are very good to be fair Oh, here we go, here we go. Now we're talking. Lots of shit is going on. <laughs> I 
don't really know what that achieved, but it was fun. Still need to get that guy out. Load of bees. Cash it in. Yeah, mate. Hang on a minute. Oh, hello, pal. <coughs> yeah, I think we're not sure about. Ball guy stream. Because it's 60 players. So you'll only be seeing it from one person's perspective. You probably won't see the others. And if the person who's streaming it um, gets through, sorry, doesn't get through to another round and the others do, then you just won't be able to see what the others do and they'll just have to quit and then start again. So I don't think it'll actually work. I mean, we'll probably try it anyway. Um, can you spectate? Okay. Grublin! Hello, Grublin. Um, so, yeah. Like, ultimately, like, if one of us decides um, to stream it, there's, there's absolutely no harm in, like, someone else being there, right? Um, so, it'll probably happen. Get out of it. Let's get the hell out of it. I want to get back to the pottery guy. I want to do the pottery guy and then I'll, I'll call it a stream. <clears throat> Even if I have to just Google it. That's true. There was a scoring system between the four of us. That'd be interesting. <clears throat> hey, go through the... Right, right. 
All the pots are back. Oh, but they're bigger this time, aren't they? Robotic Monkey was right. There's a... There is some sort of trick to it. again. He's a big pot boy. <clears throat> oh, is the next one the beach one? Let's just have a look. It's just a really good track. It's another Tycho one, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Oh, it is! It is! to like bring all the fish with you. One spongy. I think they sort of expand and contract. There we go. The way it uses the soundtrack is amazing, especially considering it's all um, licensed stuff. What does this achieve? I can't remember. Right. Yes, yeah, so they've obviously got the stems for each track and like really played around with it. Do they, when they're like this, do they make the, um, this guy sick or something when he eats them? They have made this up. Yes! <laughs> Baddie. And where do 
I take her back to the start? I'll say that no, 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 noise it sounds a bit like you fucked up. It sounds like something bad just happened. Fanshawe. That's a good name. Right. Pot guy. Let's go. going to do? Hmm. I'm starting to feel slightly bad. <laughs> right, let's leave and come back for I think the final time. That's right, there's like one massive pot isn't there I think. And then that's that's it. Yes, mate. And look, and it's him cutting my head off. <laughs> Lots of work. I see if I can't make this pot fall over. Try as I might. Pervious to harm, I think. Cool. Um, right, I'm going to call it there, I think. Um, it's been really nice uh, revisiting this, though. Um, there is no achievement collecting all the eyes. What's the point, then? I'm sure there was something to it, wasn't there? Um, no achievement whatsoever. Do you know what, before I go, I'm just going to leave this running. Um, and I'm just gonna oh, close, close that. Sorry, I just um, had a window open with all the computer game show passwords in it and stuff. <laughs> That'd be funny if that that stream stream by accident, wouldn't it? Um, ice cream bread. Because I don't believe this at all. Ice cream bread recipe by Tasty. Tasty.co. It's a great uh, domain. Oh, bloody hell, the controller's vibrating. 
Preheat your oven, combine melted ice cream and self-raising flour, mix until combined, add any additional sprinkles, chocolate chips or goodies to the batter, I'm calling it batter is a bit of a stretch isn't it? Line a loaf pan with parchment paper and grease the non-stick spray, pour batter into a loaf pan and spread evenly, bake for 35 to 40 minutes, allow to cool. And it's, it's bread, it's bread, it looks like bread. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm gonna have to try that. I'm gonna have to try it. Um, I'm gonna have to try it. Does it? I mean, does it? Does it matter how good the ice cream is? Probably not, right? I mean, no, no, it must do because that's still the main ingredient. Um, yeah, yeah. To be fair, yeah, because ice cream's got. Cream. If, it, if it's gelato, it's got eggs in it as well. Um, I see. I'll, I can't do it for the next Bell's Kitchen because it takes like 35 minutes in the oven, so I'd have to kill 35 minutes doing nothing. Um, but yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to try that. I'm gonna have to try it. Oh, Isaac would bloody love that as well. Right. I'm gonna go. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Um, could show my ass again for 35 minutes. Definitely get myself banned. That'd be good. Um, God, yeah, it'd be great to make with Isaac. Sorry, the game's just doing that. You see how it's drawing that shape? That's just the game. Um, that's an that's an idle animation, I guess. Um, new podcast tomorrow. It's a long one. A lot of bickering about the Xbox stuff. <laughs> Maybe too much, some might say. Um, and then, yeah, what else we got? Uh, Thursday, Thursday or Friday, if you're a patron, if you're a $5 patron or above, the bonus show's going up. Um, and then, yeah, I, th I don't know what James is doing on Friday. Maybe nothing. I've crossed it off on the... Um, did I touch the PS4 trackpad? No, I didn't. Why? Does that do stuff? Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? You can go... Woo -woo. Brilliant game. Brilliant game. Um, the, <laughs> the, there was a bit of Destiny 2 chat, but it was mainly me saying... Like, it would just be really interesting to see if, you know, it all being on Game Pass, like, consolidates the fan base again around the Xbox, which I believe historically has been the least favourite platform. Um, I don't know. Oh, is the stream gone weird? Streamlabs isn't reporting any errors. Um, but yeah. Friday, I don't know what James is doing. Possibly nothing. Um, and then Sunday, it's it's more hit map. So, enjoy. Um, take care of yourselves. Hope you're alright. Be patient with shop staff and service staff and people in your own house that you might be sick of or whatever. Um, and I'll see you. Well, you can hear me tomorrow morning, can't you? It's already in the can. It's ready to go. It's in the chamber. Ready to shoot into your ear holes. I'm going to go. I'm so tired. Um, <laughs> it'll just crash the servers. Yeah, you're probably right, to be fair. Um, Good night everyone, love you, see you later.